What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a simple GFX tutorial. So this GFX tutorial is going to be really simple and it's I'm basically going to be doing a tutorial of my profile picture. I'll put a couple examples, GFX examples on the screen for you. So I'm going to be teaching you how to do that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is going to Roblox Studio. Now you can download that for free and unfortunately you can't do that in mobile. So you're just going to go to base plate. Okay, so now I'm on the base plate. You are going to um, want to come into the toolbox, pick plugins, and you're basically just going to search load character. So it should be the free one. I'm pretty sure it's this one. I've already loaded, I already installed it, so it should say install for you. So you're just gonna install that. And then go to plugins and load character. And as you can see, as you press that, you get out already pro. I'm pretty sure he's the person who created this. So you want to make it your Roblox character or um, anybody's Roblox character. So you're basically just going to type in their username. Now you're going to, sp you have to have the spawn origin X up. I don't know why, i just been top that way. And you really can do any of these. I do any of these, so I'm just going to do spawn R6. It's going to come a little bit late, but you can just screw it. You can just do that. And go around is just like when you play a game. So, for example, I don't want some things like I do not want the puppy ears so and the face. So, how to do it is you're just going to press this, press dog ears, and delete it. And now I don't want my face. So, you're going to go to head, face, delete. Now I don't have any face. So basically, that's all you have to do. And then now, you have to come up here, right click, and then export selection. And you're going to want to save as anything you want. So for this video, I'm going to save it as GFX. And you can save it in your downloads desktop anywhere, but I usually save it in the downloads. So after you've downloaded it, you can just press this X button and then you don't need to save it to the base plate. So next, you're going to need Blender 2.79. So I'm pretty sure you can, because there's a new version, 2.8, but you can specifically download 2.79 if you type in Blender old version, I think. I might, if you guys give this video a big thumbs up, I might be able to show you guys, do another tutorial on how to get it. Okay, so you first will always have this square and you don't want that so you're just gonna press it press x and then delete so now you're gonna go to file export import import wavefront obj and then go to wherever you downloaded it so in my since it was downloads um as you can see i have a lot of them so my one was gfx and you're gonna want to get the obj one not the mtl one spawn so how first how to move want move around is shift F and W is forward E is upwards F, Q is down and S is back and D is left no right and then A is yeah you know okay so now as you can see our character looks kind of funny so we're gonna tap this X right here. And in multi-texture, you're going to press textured solid. As you can see, it gives the color. And um, I don't know how to pronounce it. Ambient occlusion. I'm not sure. But as you can see, it just gives it a little bit of shade. So next, you're going to want to um, come to the shading. And... It has sky and transparent, and you're going to press transparent. So then your background, when you take a picture, is transparent. Now you're going to go to the earth and click all these three. 
and that just gives you more shading and just in my opinion looks more realistic and more nice so that's basically all you have to do and then now is you have to now the only thing is to make your pose so how to make the kind of like a waving pose that I did is you're going to right click on this arm and you're going to want to make this a little bit here and then use this scale and turn it like that and you're going to go back like that like that boom you're going to turn a little bit down a little bit in so that's basically how you do that you can change anything you want okay so now it's the camera so there's two ways of doing this one is clicking on this and pressing zero on your number pad you can't click on the one on top but the one on the sides but that's for PCs if you're doing a Mac then you're going to want to press a view camera and then shift F and use those controls again like when you're positioning it it's basically going to take a photo you want to get the whole thing okay so now you finished now you're just going to go to the camera again and render render so as you can see it has already been rendered so now we're gonna press image save as image and save it to anywhere you want I usually save it in my desktop and you can name it a different way you're gonna save that image and okay so I've saved that image and now you're going to go to PicMonkey okay so now you're on PicMonkey as you can see I have some of my things right here and you're gonna add a new image blank canvas and um, you can go do um, um, usually you can do like Roblox channel icon but because this one is first um, I usually use this one so you can just create you can give it a name but you don't really have to so as you can see mine is um, ombre so you're just gonna go to effects scroll down into ombre you don't need to do this step and you can just make it any color you want so I'm gonna use oh my god pink and blue looks really nice but I'm gonna do a little lighter blue perfect so now you're just gonna want to add an image from your desktop and you're gonna add the GFX PNG and you're just gonna want to size it to your own liking so you can also do a little outline so you go to effects outline and usually a white color is the best color for me but you don't need to you can arrange the thickness um, intensity and fade which I don't usually do but I mean it doesn't really it's just fade but I like to do it like this so you can just put your graphic right here size it and you can also add anything you want here but I'm personally not gonna do that so you can I'm gonna arrange it like this so unfortunately if you have to download it you need money and I'm not gonna spend it so you can just screenshot it so if you don't know how to screenshot it is shift command 4 okay guys so this is it might look a little glitchy but nobody a little bit pixelated but nobody's gonna really look at it so thank you guys for watching this video i hoped this gfx tutorial helped you somehow all these websites are free i don't use money on anything so hope you guys enjoyed this video hope it helped if it helped you if you're gonna use this method give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video bye